Hey guys, Dazzler Magic here, and oh boy, the magic community just exploded. You know I've been covering tournament controversies for the entire time my channel has been around. And some of my most viewed videos, in fact right now, the most viewed videos, by category, are people getting caught cheating. Now at a recent tournament, I guess you could say we had people doing that, but it's not, you know, hiding cards up their sleeves and trying to shuffle different. Which is what pretty much all the pros are doing, but anyway, um, it was people just showing up with counterfeit cards. And they're all going full plausible deniability, everybody's going conspiracy theory on this, blaming the judges, blaming the people, blaming the vendors. Oh my gosh, then you had some guy named Cedric managed to type about 37 pages of a rant about this while also simultaneously saying absolutely nothing. It is amazing and he needs to calm down on the caffeine. And I don't even have full numbers. This is just complete chaos and it's mostly just people posting, I'm angry and I'm right about this, here's why, other than like people actually covering it as news. So I don't have the bullet point breakdown, but multiple people were caught with counterfeits. Among other issues, uh, this isn't the one where the guy apparently showed up and played while on shrooms, which would really piss me off. But um, yeah, that, that's just the tip of the iceberg. I'm going to break down some of the other issues that may dissuade you from going to one of these events at the end of the video, so stay tuned for the whole thing. It'll be a real eye-opener if you're not familiar. The one a lot of people are talking about is somebody who made it to the top eight at a Star City Games uh, convention event, and then got disqualified, not during the deck check. How did they possibly get caught when somebody whose job it is to catch people looked past it during the deck check? And the answer is, well, they missed it, and then there was another deck check, because uh, I guess somebody called over a judge, or the judge called over themselves, I don't know, because a player saw all four copies of Regavan Nimble Pilferer in game one. Now, normally that wouldn't be very suspicious, on MTG Arena. Back in reality, that never happens. So somebody just said, hey, you know, let's deck check this because maybe they've got eight of them. You know, like Ensel Artifact, everybody's running eight of those. I caught somebody at FNM running eight of them. So they're basically checking for marked cards or, or more than four, and uh, they're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, some of these cards don't look right. Boom, DQ, goodbye. Now, according to, like, the standard rules of magic, if you're found with a counterfeit card, you have a reasonable amount of time to find a replacement for it. So start talking to your friends, going to the vendors, whatever it happens. And then, um, I think they'll give you a game plus? I, I don't know if that's whether you come back in time or not, but you get the idea. Um, the only time that the judges generally agree that you would get disqualified on the spot is if they thought you did it on purpose. So if you're known for showing off tons of expensive decks, you're a longtime player, they know you've got money, and all of a sudden one copy out of four is bad, they're probably going to give you a little time to replace it. If you're running a four of, and all four of them are really expensive, and all four of them are counterfeit, they might start to wonder. But that's why everybody does it, because they have plausible deniability. Oh, I didn't know it was counterfeit. I don't know how to check that. I bought this from a vendor. So sometimes they'll even let you just sharpie job a basic land to move on with your life and then get like a game loss as a penalty if, if you can't get the card in time. So, wow, either they didn't like something about this person, which, you know, the judges are very crooked, very biased, very woke, very much don't like certain skin colors, genders, orientations, that kind of stuff, unfortunately, and multiply that by 10 if it's Star City Games. Oh, um, allegedly, according to about 50 reports I've heard from various people over the years. Now, here's where it gets even worse. Somebody made the statement, hey, they, they said my blood crypt was uh, fake, and they had used a loop, I assume they, they spelled it wrong, a jeweler's loop is what they meant to say, to check, so I must replace it. Took it to three different vendors afterwards, and they all told me it was real. Sounds like the judges who are notoriously on a lot of different meds, if you know what I mean, just decided they didn't like this person. Or they wanted to, if this is the same person, wanted to retaliate against them getting four Regavans because they couldn't prove they were cheating. This angle shooting, just unfair treatment, accusations, threats. This is like exactly what competitive magic is in 2023 and 2024 from what I've heard. This is the tip of the iceberg. This is just where like we're hearing about it all at once from a couple different ones. So people are kind of making a big fuss about it. But this always happens. I'd be more concerned about a tournament, a high-profile tournament that goes off with no problems and no accusations, because then you know somebody was cheating. They just didn't catch them. There's no such thing as a competitive tournament for money, and these were $10,000, $20,000 prizes uh, where people aren't cheating. It, it doesn't exist. 
They don't crack down hard enough on it. They never have. They want to brush it under the rug and be like, no, no, it's an honest game. Don't constantly address cheaters to have a chilling effect and scare them away. What do you get with that? Just like the soft on crime policy, these lefty idiots. You get more cheaters. But that wasn't the end of the controversy. Oh, no. And this, by the way, I'll just warn you, this is not the first time this has happened. This happens all the time. So, to all the dumbass mods on Reddit who constantly say, No, we don't allow posting about curling foils. We've all heard it, okay? There's nothing new to say. I got something new to say. Somebody spent $2,300 on three near-mint serialized worm coils from one of the recent sets. And, of course, you know, they're foil. And, uh, yeah, they had them flagged as two curled in an all-foil deck. Resulting in a game loss. And they got the receipts. They showed the pictures to uh, prove it. So they're not just annoying. They're actually defective and will actually lose you a tournament. They, they might as well be counterfeits. They're selling you $2,300 worth of overpriced crap that you can't even play the game Magic the Gathering with without getting accused of cheating. And convicted of cheating, I guess, because he got a game loss. They didn't give him a warning and say, here, I have a basic land with a Sharpie on it. By the way, guys, this was in an all-foil deck, and these were too curled for it. And here's the thing, I can't even say he wasn't cheating. He could have bent them, he could have known that they were a problem, and just been like, well, yeah, but I kind of want to know when they're at the top of my decks. So I'm not really going to bend them back or fix them, you know, or do anything about it. I don't know who was really cheating, I don't know what's really counterfeit, but it's not my job and I wasn't there. The fact that the judges and the players can't seem to tell, and it's almost a given that some of the players are lying and knew damn well what they had, ooh boy if this didn't convince you to sell your magic collection and or never ever 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 go to a competitive tournament of any kind then at this point i can't help it you are just on the wrong channel it's a well-known thing at the pro level that you can get buddy buddy with the judges or the judges can just have a chip on their shoulder against you or people have done this to to cheat so if somebody says something then they're gonna scrutinize you but that the the conclusion to all of that is that foils are not tournament legal. Unless you got some kind of old school foil or an etched foil that doesn't curl, they are not tournament legal, period. You cannot play the game of Magic with the most expensive cards in the game of Magic. Only if you thought foils were bad, and maybe you can straighten yours out or something, try playing with secret lair cards in your deck. They're right up there with, like, From the Vault, where the card literally weighs a different amount. I mean, all foils weigh a different amount, but they are like... Hold one in your hand, that's all I'm gonna say different stiffness you can feel them while you're shuffling they're illegal too there's no written rule that says you can't play with from the vault or secret lair but let me just advise you a little friendly advice you can't play with from the vault or secret lair then we've had sleeve cheating a couple years ago i covered this uh, a long time ago like seven eight years ago i got about 30 percent thumbs down the video it was hey this bold new way of cheating has been discovered or has been going on for a while and almost nobody's aware of it everyone's like no you're paranoid you're lying and clickbait 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 and then about three, four years later, somebody got caught doing it and DQ'd. They put like all their lands in one set of identical sleeves and, and all the rest of the cards in another. So they knew when a land was coming. And it was just like a slight ink variation or pattern cut variation where they could look at the side and say, ah, oh, yes, this pattern is cut a little bit less. And there's a little bit more, I don't know, diamond or you know, dragon scale showing or whatever. Or these are a little bit more purple than the other ones. And they were like, oh, I, I didn't notice that. Oh, my, my friend sleeved my deck. That's actually what they said. And look, if you didn't notice, okay, whatever, they'll resleeve your deck and maybe give you game loss or a warning, okay? If it's just all your lands or just all your mythics or just like eight cards, you're getting a DQ. You're getting kicked out of the tournament. That's what happened to the last guy. Then you got all the shuffle cheating going on on top of that, which almost never gets caught. So spend your time, money, and effort going and paying for and doing absolutely anything other than anything that resembles this. Or you are just being foolish with your money because it's a pipe dream to think, well, the one I go to will be fair. So yeah, just stay away from that scene. It's a bunch of immoral, evil, greedy, lying pieces of crap on every single side of everything. The judge is on the way down to the players and some of the vendors. It is just not a place to be. Let them all backstab each other and get in their little arguments and have their little fits by themselves. Stay away from it. That is what I advise. Play casual with your friends and don't spend money on Pringles. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys next catastrophic news story. Unless, of course, the storm that's blowing in with a foot of snow ends society as we know it tomorrow, it probably will. In which case, it's been nice knowing y'all. I'll see you guys next time.